Burn everybody, give it up. Oh man, this is my first time on stage in this year, so I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, I, as you mentioned, uh, I'm, I'm a stand-up comic. I've been doing it for 10 years. Um, it was about six months after my first paid gig that I opened for a national headliner. And so, of course, you're going to get really excited. You're going to pick that person's brain. And this is a person who's been on Netflix and all sorts of you know, TV shows. And I said, hey, so uh, when could I quit my day job? And he laughed in my face. And he says, as soon as this tour is done, I'm going to be driving Uber, Uber in LA. And I was like, whoa, what? So I learned really quickly that in order to do stand-up comedy to the level I wanted to do it, I had to get a side hustle that gave me a pretty much open schedule. And I know that's the dream for a lot of people, but it took me years to find that, but God damn it, I found it. I found it. I answered an ad on Craigslist and I didn't get murdered. I answered an ad on Craigslist uh, for a small company in Metro Atlanta who uh, needed someone to make some calls for them. And I, I was like, wow, this is a job I can do from anywhere. I could be on the road. I could do it, you know, sitting in a McDonald's. Now, and it's a small company. They pay me well. They're flexible with my time. They give me bonuses. It is the dream. What do I do, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. I open my laptop. I connect to a server. And then the following thing happens. I sit there, I sit there, and then a call comes in. Hi, is this, uh, yeah, is this Mr. McGillicuddy? Hey, Mr. McGillicuddy, my name is Patrick, and I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, I know this call's totally out of the blue, but I was calling about a home I believe you own on 123 Go Fuck Yourself Lane. We were seeing if you had thought about selling it or, or if you would, be, you would consider selling it. Go fuck myself? Okay, cool, thank you. And that's the job! That's the whole job. Now, some of you, I feel the same. <laughs> How many of you have cussed someone out who called you? Yeah, that person is a human fucking being just trying. I want you to remember, the next time that person calls you, that is a person probably trying to live their dreams or make ends meet. They are not your enemy. Capitalism is your enemy. So the next time they call you, if you are, I'm going to give you a couple things. If you're going to troll them, please don't. If you're going to go, and, and if you're going to insult them, at least be creative. If someone asks you how much you're going to sell your house for, if you say a million dollars, they're going to immediately make fun of you the moment they get off the phone. They're like, the lack of originality in this fucking person. I literally have a canned response to, because I, I, I'm like, oh, how much did you sell it for? Million dollars. And I go, million dollars, eh? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's my response every single time. And here's the thing. What's wrong with that job? People are like, how can you do that job? I don't know how you can do that job every day. I don't know how you can do that job. They pay me. They give me an open schedule. I can just take off when I want to. I start when I want. I stop when I want. And I get to hear dumb white people being <laughs> the best dumb white people. Like if you, like I, I think it's my kink at this point, like dumb white people just being the worst. Like, and here's the thing, the other best thing about my bosses at that job, they don't give me a, if someone is super rude, like to the point of being offensive, that's not someone we want as a client anyway. So you know what I get to do? They were like, well, I'm gonna call the police. Well, make sure you definitely bother police. They don't have anything better to do, Karen. 
And they'll be like, and they're not used to that. So they're like, excuse me? And then I put them on the do not call list, and it's like we never called them. It's amazing. So the next time you're fucking rude, remember this. And remember, maybe this person is doing this job just because they're trying to live their dreams. And that's my time. Please come to Clockwork Comedy on Thursday right here. It's going to be awesome. Doors at 8, starts at 8.30. Uh, it's going to be amazing. And uh, thanks. Bye. <laughs>